This is far and away the single most responsive button that I have ever used. It is instantaneous. It is almost a little bit of a hair trigger. If that blue light is on, it is firing your coils. Incredibly, incredibly responsive. Let me just remove this goat here. Yeah, you're going to see your uh, spring-loaded 510 connection right there. This fits uh, easily a 24, 25 millimeter atomizer. Don't think you could go much bigger than that though. Got this big cutout right here for squonking your bottle. And as you can see, I'm not taking this bottle out of here. I'm not fill in this bottle. I fill this bottle using the Geek Vape flask, which if you want to talk about the Geek Vape flasks real quick, I love these things. I much prefer the metal version of the flask than the plastic version of the flask. The plastic looks cooler, but I have had three break on me now. This is all constructed out of plastic, including this 510, including this threading, and that is the weak point. I have had this break and crack on me, and that really bums me out because I really like these Geek Vape flasks, especially for squonking, I think they're the easiest way to refill any squonker. But because that's how I fill it, I'm not going to fill this bottle by taking off the cap. But you can see the straw that runs in this bottle is one of those stiff, rigid, stainless steel straws. It's not like a plastic tube straw. So when you're squonking this, which I'm not going to do right now, you can only press this in as far as that straw will allow you to. But it does just slide out just like that. There's your squonk bottle. If you're going to fill it this way, it's completely possible. It's knurled here and knurled here, so you can unscrew it, fill it back up, pop it back in here. But if you're going to be squonking, I highly suggest getting something like the Geek Vape Flask. I don't necessarily think the Geek Vape Flask is the best one, but there are lots of like flask style squonk fillers like this out there. It just makes so much more sense. So yeah, batteries always go in positive side facing your 510. You can close the trap door. Just going to screw this goat atomizer back on here and yeah that's the reload vapor squonker not a whole lot to see i've always loved dual parallel unregulated mods so it's not a huge surprise that i love a dual parallel unregulated squonker reload vapors fit and finish has always been real nice real slick real on point all of the seams all of the edges feel very nice the door feels very nice this cutout is really well machined i love Love this little low pro little responsive button right there you can kind of do this badminton racket technique i kind of hold it like this so i got my finger here for the squonker finger here for the button one-handed operation but yeah that's really all there is to see up close and personal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out to normal view oh we're gonna vape this thing <laughs> So I have truly and honestly just been loving the shit out of this Reload Vapor Squonker. I'm a little bit of a Reload Vapor fanboy. I have kind of not just enjoyed, but excessively enjoyed, like really enjoyed everything that Reload Vapor has released. Their RDA, love it. Their RTA, probably one of my favorite RTAs of all time. And their Squonk, I'm happy to report, it holds up to the Reload Vapor name. This is a rad squonk. I didn't realize how much I wanted a dual parallel unregulated squonker until I got a dual parallel unregulated squonker. On top, with two fresh 18650s on the inside and a freshly juiced coils on the inside, it's rad. It's just a rad, rad vape. And I love this button. It's like this flat little low pro button and it's responsive. It is responsive AF. Almost to the point of being like a little bit of a hair trigger. Dude, it's good. It's good and powerful. There is quite literally nothing that I really want to fault this on. It does it all and it does it in a way that I like it. Dual parallel, unregulated, squonker. I mean, cut and dry. That's the slow and skinny of it. That's what it is. I like holding it. I like the finish. I like how responsive the button is. I like the squonk bottle, even with the stainless steel stem on the inside, which is going to throw a lot of people off. There's large groups of vapors and squonkers that don't like the big stainless steel sort of, you know, straw going through the middle of it. It doesn't really 
bother me, especially with the goat, and I hate to be so vague about it, but you don't need to do like those huge squonk, like flood the deck squonks when you're using the goat, which makes this kind of a perfect combination. And I know that's not gonna make much sense right now, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Nothing, there is, there's, <laughs> there's kind of nothing that I can say about this in like a negative way. It's just an all around, really great, well-built, powerful, responsive squonker. I mean, we might be able to complain about the price a little bit. Let's get down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you're after the reload vapor squonker? Ah, maybe a little bit. Over on their website, it's about $110, which is, I mean, that's, that's pricey. That's over $100. I mean, that's firmly, firmly, firmly in vape budget hands territory, but look, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game, and I think we might already know the answer to this, and they come and take everything I have, and I have nothing left to vape, I got no squonkers, I got nothing, is the reload vapor squonker something I would seek out and buy? Uh, yeah, I mean, probably as quickly as I could. I've just, I, I've just really enjoyed this squonk. Like I said before, it's a dual parallel unregulated. I'm a huge fan of dual parallel unregulated. I've been using dual parallel unregulated box mods for years and years and years. And it all started with the Titan, you know, way back in 2015. And I've just been using dual parallels ever since. I, I like them. I like the power that they give me. I, I like building four dual parallel unregulated box mods. And this one that happens to be a squonker, this is, uh, uh, this is great. I mean, this is kind of almost everything I've wanted in a mod. I know, which is, I mean, that's a lot. I'm not saying that, okay, I'm not saying that this is like the best mod ever made. I'm not saying that this is like the best, even, even the best squonker ever made. I'm saying for me, for Grim Green, for the way that I like to vape, for the way that I like to build this reload squonker, it, it's it's ticking all the boxes and scratching me right where I itch. And even though this is only a dual parallel sort of unregulated device, it does still have a whole mess of safety features in, included in here. Things like uh, overheating protection, things like short circuit protection, things like uh, reverse polarity protection. It's got a 10 second cutoff on the switch. It is really simple, but it does also have a lot of safety features packed into it. I'm gonna stop gushing about this now and wrap it up, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. No links allowed anymore, so 